Now, I'm just going to tell you this off rip. Your Popeye's chicken sandwich is never going to look this good because I brought it home and I jazzed it up because that's what I do. I jazz things up. It's black hoodie. I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, so Popeye, something I don't often eat, but when I do, I do truly enjoy it. I have the original chicken sandwich here. However, I have brought it home and doctored it up, jazzed it up, whatever you want to call it. It's uh, not going to look like this when you buy it from there. I promise you when I got it home, it was pretty sad. But I make things, you know, nicer and so that we can enjoy them. Okay, I've got an ice cold root beer here. Got a little sip very fresh that's going off to the side for a moment though because we have these onion rings here right maybe we'll slide those to the left show you a little up close here i brought these home and i put them back into the air fryer to crisp them up even further i will say the onion rings are something i don't know that i've ever even gotten from popeye so that's might be a first for me but i did re-crisp them up in the air fryer because i let my chicken come down to temp because I like my chicken sandwich uh, the breast of it to not be piping hot and burn my mouth and blow liquids all over my mouth and you know what I mean and here we have the coleslaw my favorite probably my favorite item from Popeyes all right let's give you a show of this sandwich now I doctored this thing up I brought it home I shredded my own lettuce I added more mayo I put my own pickles on and I took a bit of the coleslaw of my side of coleslaw and put it on the uh, the top of this burger so we're gonna have a juicy dill pickly sweet fresh chicken sandwich all right That's how it's got to be done. To have that, to get that proper runniness, but the uh, letting the chicken breast set up. So it's not like too, too hot in temperature. That's the best. Crushing it. This, however, is problematic for putting down the sandwich because you get a soggy ass bun. I gotta do something about this. All right, Sando off to the side momentarily while you try these onion rings and the jury is out. You guys like bite cam. Up close and personal, <laughs> bite cam. <laughs> so let's try one of these onion rings bite cam style, all right? I'm gonna go first. First, I will try with sweet heat. pretty good I can't argue that mm -hmm. and then of course classic ketchup no matter what I do with onion rings I feel like I always come back to ketchup being my favorite So yeah, it's a pretty, pretty good onion ring. Mm -hmm. Definitely has a good, good crunch. I like the batter. Are they the best onion rings I've ever had? No. Not exactly, but they're still pretty solid. All 
although that as being a regular side, you get like seven onion rings. I don't know if that's reasonable. They are good though. All right, quick little coleslaw cam. Nice and cold, my favorite thing from Popeyes, I swear to God, is the coleslaw. Ask me why, I don't know. Just so sweet and refreshing. It's just a perfectly balanced coleslaw recipe. And the cold and the crunch was amazing. What can I say? I wish I had a whole nother one. A bite of this chicken sandwich was always going to require a sweet heat drizzle bite on the Crave can. Look at that, Drew. <laughs> wow. I didn't know if that was going to work, but that needs to happen again immediately. Popeyes definitely packs a huge chicken uh, breast cutlet thing, whatever you want to call it. On the amount of chicken you get though, that breast is gargantuan. Not back to reality. <laughs> I've had some semi disappointing sandwich experience from Popeyes, but this is one of them. This one's killing it. But I also basically made it my own. When I got it home, there was two pickles. One was like tiny, one was decent. And all the mayo had already evaporated from the heat of the chicken. Like, they swipe it on the bun, they put it in hot, and the mayo just melts into the bun. So you're just left with, like, a dry-ass chicken sandwich. Unlike this bite. I mean, it was incredible, it was amazing. That said though, clearly I had to do some things to make it that amazing, but the foundation is there. If you're like me and you have patience, you wanna take it home, you have a few things in the fridge, you can just make it a little better with the foundations that are there. But the onion rings, they were good. Coleslaw's always banging. Soda was fresh. Chicken sandwich was amazing. 
what can you say? Their sauces are always dope. Uh, till the next one, eat good, live well. Stay true.